the Empire by this rampant, and welcome back to my Roman Empire campaign for the Zardom Sword of War mod, where we're going to continue lift up from last time with our world war with Austria and Hungary and fucking everybody. Where we're going to continue pushing into the Balkans today, where we're just about to get our reinforcements for Manuel, our co emperor, as you guys are currently two turns away from being able to drop off and reinforce around here. What I'm going to be trying to do with that army is I think I'm going to leave Bona for now alone. I'm not going to worry about specifically trying to uh, actually liberate this city. I think you guys can defend it yourself with what you have there. I'm going to trust that you guys can. Then I'm going to try and have it so this army, once I get uh, these reinforcements, I need to start pushing on it in and start taking these castles. Because there's a lot of castles that they control, and if I can take all of the Bosnian castles, that will be a really good way for us to try and hold back Hungary. I am going to try and see if maybe... I can convince them to give me a temporary peace. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to accept it. It's probably unlikely, but we can try it. Because I think I already have a diplomat around here. Yeah, right here. So let's let's try. <laughs> I might at least try and be diplomatic. Otherwise, I'm fine holding Tinium. Like, uh, Tinium is a really good area if I can focus them right around this location as I'm gathering more forces around here. Another thing I'm going to be doing is it was brought up, and I like this idea. Ba uh, Albania. We're not at war with them. Yet. But... They are a faction that I'm kind of expecting will eventually want to attack me because everybody's starting to try and dogpile on me. Like, we had Austria just randomly start declaring war on us last video. So I think I like the idea, especially because I've got these bombards on my way over. Um, let's keep making you move over this way. And what I'm going to do is once you get over here, I'm going to have it so that at the moment, they only have... Uh, let me double check this too. I think they only have these two settlements here. Um, that's Bosnia right there. Albania. Um, if they only have just these two settlements, what I can do... So... It kind of looks like two? Yeah, it kind of looks like they had started out with one, and then this is just two. Yeah, that looks like it. So what I can try and do is at the moment, uh, it looks like this castle is fairly weak. They don't control... Yeah, nothing else around here. It's just these two. What we can try and do is blitz them in one turn, immediately murder them, and just take these two pieces of land just to make it a little bit easier for us to reinforce because then I don't have to specifically sail my forces all the way up. Then I just need to have it so yes, this fine. fleet is just like taking troops from here, dropping them off up here. Then they can just walk up there instead and just go through my lands. Those will be a lot easier. So I think that's one thing we're going to try and do. I'm going to try and grab... Uh, let me actually first kind of go around, double check around Greece and any other areas. Well, you need to just retrain that guy. Um, there's, uh, let's see if there's any other extra random units that aren't free upkeep around here that I want to move forward or just get rid of. I don't want to waste any excess money. There's that one unit there. Most of you guys are free upkeep. I do need to move all of you, though. All of you keep making yes. your way over here as well. Oh, yeah, there was the... Never mind. There's the one rebel army. Can't do that right now. And also, I know it's brought up in the comments. Uh, this is still controlled by the St. John, so I don't actually have to worry about Nasos, which is really great. Um, I will probably want to just grab a random boat around here. Let's grab a random boat and then just a couple more troops around here, and I can move you guys out next turn. So kind of grab some of them. Actually, don't grab those. Grab the cab unit. I will grab you, though. You try and make your way over to Athens as you can merge with this guy. Then we can send you forward to the front lines. Same with all of you. Also, I'm very tempted to see, like... I know we're getting very close to Timur, so he's making Orders. his way over here. I'm hoping we'll still get some decent amount of time before the Timurids uh, make their way on over. Because that's going to make things interesting. I'm already kind of pushing myself uh, to my breaking point with my economy. I can at least I move yes. some more of these guys out. Um, I think you all... Let's say you need to Constantinople because I think you can be trained over there. But these units, try and send them over this way as well. Just try and bring as many reinforcements as we're able to right now. Because I believe everybody else has, for the most part, just all free upkeep units. There's no extra units that aren't being paid for for free. So I think that's about it for all of you guys. Um, I do need to make sure that uh, what we're going to be doing, because again, we're still where... I don't know where they went. My princesses are somewhere. I have to make sure I don't accidentally marry them off. But I'm still going to be trying to go for that one general uh, around Naples. Because it should be, I think he's going to spawn near their capital, which at the moment is up here. So I'll try and bring my princesses over here, talk to them. Because I really like the idea of trying to marry into some of the historical characters that spawn on the map. Um, otherwise, ooh, I have Ooh, some nice. extra generals around here. Does anybody else need one around here? I don't think so. I think most of these regions actually have generals. Well, you don't have one, but I'm sending somebody over there right now. Oh, I don't have one in uh, Nakia. Nakia. Uh, 
you, I, I hate how I always fucking um, mess up that pronunciation. Uh, I'll type you go up there. Oh, I could have had you go there too, but that's fine. Although I do need to get, oh, I can't do that right now. I do have enough money though. Let me actually upgrade that. Um, I'm going to lower the taxes here a little bit as well. Let me go around and build some more stuff. Uh, I already have forts around here, so let's get the better extended farmlands. Uh, around here, I think I should get the better chapel so I can have more princesses, priests, I guess I can't get the horse mill. I can get this exchange, but that's not going to do a ton right now. No, it's not. Uh, garrison quarter actually might not be the worst either right now. Yeah, get a little bit more troop production around here. I think that works. So I see Hungary decided to just siege us to death. Great. Okay, so they did take that settlement. Um, this is for Maria. I'm going to hold off on just a second. Um, I need to double check because my princesses are right here. I just need to make sure that I'm not going to accidentally marry off any of you. So I will accept you as long as you don't take away any of these chicks. Um, let's keep sending you along up this way as you're going to keep making your way up and around. We're just about there. It's about two more turns. We'll be able to drop off and see if he's around here. Um, I should have grabbed a... Uh, possibly grabbed a uh, spy, actually. You guys actually sacked this region. They don't have much in there. It looks like they took out the army practically immediately. Uh, they do have a force sieging us here. I only have the one spearman. Uh, I would like to get some reinforcements over there if I can. Stag, no. We are getting a little bit better for some troop recruitment around here. It's uh, getting slightly better. Uh, around here, uh, let's see. I would like... Um, City Watch... Mercy camp. We already have the mercenary. No, we don't have a mercenary crossbows around here. Okay, then definitely grab the mercenary camp around here. Grab that. And then I think for you guys, uh, honestly, Borders I'm just going to grab like all of these dudes. Yes, my Let's, Let's pick them up via the boat. Yes, grab these three. Grab them. I'll get more here next turn, so it'll be good. Let's then try and have it so yes. you are going to go right. I want you. So, technically right there. And then I them. think... Hold. Hold outside the city. Yes. Wait until they decide to try and attack you, and I think we can hold that. Um, we are now yet for siege there that we know about. Which is faction, announcements, family member coming of age. Not bad. I probably should try and grab a, um, a spy around here and send it over down to Italy, possibly. Or just a new one to help out find that one family member dude. Uh, team, we got a port. We just got a port around here. Oh, Croatian crossbow militia. Nice. Uh, I'm going to probably grab the mercenary camp here. Mercenary crossbows, Kuhn, Harrow, Sartre's German Spoon. Yeah, that's a good unit to grab. So, gra or building to grab. Grab that, and then uh, Ragusa. You already building something. All of you guys are building stuff. Again, I'm going to hope that you guys will be fine. My ship is just about here. And I'm hoping... Yeah, because I, I need to get some sort of spy also maybe around here. Do I have a spy network around here? No, I don't. Um... I need, because if I'm going to do the idea of attacking them, Orders. I need to know what's going on right around here. Move on. Right around here, I need to know what's going on. Uh, I can recruit Lord. spies over here, but I don't have any more slots for that. I think what we're going to do, because in, once uh, Albania is dead, um, I think that will be a really good chance to just take those lands. I have a bit more reinforcing capabilities by taking those. So let's actually bring you over this way. As I think this one spy can do enough scouting for us. Try and go over this way now. As you wish. Because I think the first area we'll focus on is either going to be this city or this city. One of those two will be the first that we're going to try and focus our attention on to right now. Um, that's good there. And Chavis. I'm going to have it. So let's grab these units. Got a ship. Let's bring them over here. All of you. And you. And then just drop them off on the other side, so then they can just kind of make their way over here as well. I need a straw, another navy, ideally, to possibly keep helping out with moving them. So let's kind of keep. Can I merge you? No, I can't. Just get rid of this ship. It's so crap. Get rid of them. I'll try and have it so we'll slowly gather together a navy. I can get uh, a couple more in three or four turns around Constantinople. Otherwise, I can keep trying to get some stuff specifically around Athens. Athens needs a governor, actually. Now that I think about it. Let's have it sold to this. So I'm going to bring you back up this way. Because I think what we'll do is I'll have you go here. You can grab... Uh, this guy's actually pretty old. But sure, I'll try and send you to Athens to be a governor. Try and send you over that way. By the time they're here, I can also then grab um, some more ships to reinforce that. And then that should be good for us there. I think around here, building-wise... I have a lot of money right now, actually. Uh, because we lost that army that was sitting in that city. I think here... Mind that because recruitment wise, I can actually get a decent amount of stuff around here. 
I think... Mercenary camps are always great, because I don't think I have that built up here yet. No, I do not. Okay. I'm going to have you grab some more men around here, and I think you guys, I'm going to get, I already have a base port. I'm going to actually grab, I think, for around here, I would kind of want to, there's nothing that I can do for economy. This is going to reduce happiness, which I don't want to do right now. Uh, I sh actually, I should have it some more areas can recruit bombards around here, definitely. Because like these Italian spear militia are pretty good, like base infantry to put on in as a fodder unit. They're not that bad. Um, you're doing okay there. You were blocked. I'm hoping, because come on, I want you guys to attack Tidium. I actually want you to, because otherwise, I'm just sitting here with my Emperor. He's doing absolutely nothing right now, and I want you to attack that region. Uh, otherwise, let's see, I can get a couple more buildings around here for growth. I could finally remember to grab that. Uh, let's see, Landa. I think you... Oh, I can actually get some more Turkmen Bowmen now. I should make sure I keep recruiting more of those if I have them available. So you, you, you're not a castle. You're not a castle. You're not a castle. You're a castle, but it's one more turn. You're not a castle. Bully's not a castle. You don't have any. You don't have any. And then where'd the other one go? Because there was... No, that was the one I was thinking of. Okay. Most of these areas, I think we're pretty prepared, though. I think this is about as many Turkmen Bowmen as I'm going to be able to get. And then it's just waiting. Also, St. John, what are you doing? Why do you have so many guys around my castle there? Uh, I really hope you guys don't decide to betray me. Please don't. That would be horrendous if you did at this point in time right now. Otherwise buildable, I think we... Oh, it's the Hermitage. There's actually not that much corruption right here. We can hold off on the Hermitage. I think instead, let's grab the Watermill for the more growth and some happiness around there. You... I think grab... I could use some more public health. Yeah, let's get the library. Also, it makes it so I have more spies available. Aha! Okay, so you guys took the bait. You're going to attack the army. Um, Let's see. So, given the fact that they have... Let's see. They've got this one cav unit here. You would kill me. We will try and withdraw. I just wanted to stop the fight. Because I'm going to hope that you guys will not continue sieging it. Looks like they aren't. So then I can bring these guys back into the city. Loop them around. And hopefully that'll just kind of bolster defenses. Please stop attacking this castle. I mean, this city. Please focus Tinium. Again, that is a fortified position that has my emperor. Is it not bait? Come on, take the nice juicy bait up there. Not the man of time raid. I hate you all. Um, let's see. Horse Breeders Guild and Loranda. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that for now, I'd say. Report. I'm not the richest faction anymore, sadly. We'll get there eventually. Once more. Family tragedy. Oh, no! Let's see. Also, I love, uh, it's not this specific, um, it's not this specific title, but I love that Anthony yeah, actually kind of went into the possible, um, origin between, behind the one title that my faction heir got last time, which I just kind of found cool. Um, you guys finished this, good. I'm gonna have it, so then, around here, now you can actually get some good units around here. Nice! Uh, I think for you guys, let's see, this is a base port. Um, I think around over here. Ooh, this mine. Ah, it's an okay mine. Get the grab rotation. Grab rotations are always better. Okay. Other than that right now, though, I think we are finally ready to start pushing on in with my faction later. Faction air. You now have some troops around here, some reinforcements. Quite a few reinforcements. And part of me honestly feels like I am just going to honestly kill this army. Oh, I don't have a movement this turn to keep moving up. Uh, okay, well, we can move out of here. Let's leave those guys behind. Let's have you just kind of stay right next to them. Uh, there are a little bit more mercenaries. Serbian horsemen and so Slavonic axemen. You guys are complete shit, but you know what? I'll grab you. I'll give you a chance to prove yourself with the Empire. Let's grab this spine and make my way over here. So at the moment, at least. So what I need to have happen, let's first do this. I'm going to bring you... I'll do this. I need to move this army. But also, my bombards are right yes. about here. What is this what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab. Yeah, I'm gonna grab these extra Order troops. Bring you guys up here. I'm gonna Move sit out. next to this Order. bridge. Actually, sit on this bridge Onward. for now. Sit on this bridge for now. And we have to wait until they specifically move away from both cities, and then I can blitz down and just immediately take out Albania. That's the hope. So in the meantime, I will bring these forces back down because there's a lot of reinforcements I need to grab. So let's bring you over here. I'm going to have it so I'll just pick you guys up, drop them off over here, and walk them up. 
And then ideally, once we take these two regions, it'll be very easy for me to just walk through, reinforce myself that way, as opposed to walking all the way around. Now, up here, if you guys aren't going to attack Tinium, I'm going to go out! As I don't want to just sit here doing nothing, growing old as my emperor. The, I'm the butcher. I'm known as the butcher. Why would I just sit here? So next turn, um, unless there's some mercenaries right now, there are none. Um, I will move out of Tinium. And I think what I'll do is part of me honestly kind of wants to just start murdering these enemies. Because they're around here. They're in the way. The emperor needs to sharpen his axe on their skulls. And I think we should just start trying to clear the area a little bit. Because I can either make my way up here, try and go for Behox, which I might do, because movement... Oh, I don't have movement up there. Now, let us see. Can I convince Hungry for a ceasefire? I'm just curious. I want to check and see. It's demanding. I would have to offer the money in regards for in return for that. Or land. And I know for myself, there is no way in hell I would ever give up. Like, Tinium is like the closest city to them. There's no way in hell I'd ever want to give up a defensive castle like that to them. A city I wouldn't mind. It. Oh, who the fuck is that? No, that's still, that's, uh, that's still Bosnia. Okay. I was worried that another faction decided to declare war on me. No, that should be Bosnia that's uh, blockading my port at Metho uh, Methothi. Methoni. Uh, that should be them. Not gonna have to worry too much about that. I as soon as oh hello, you're deciding to attack my little fort there. I don't care. What I do care about though is this. Uh, you're attacking this little army. Uh, I'm gonna have you run because I do not want my re my, I don't want to be lured out of the castle. I'd rather you decide to try and siege me. Come on, you have three armies there. Have some fun and try and siege me. But I'm probably gonna have to butcher my way through those armies. Um, both those. Oh no, there's one of them is a actual general. There's a captain. I see a lot of named generals around here. Oh, we're going to have to fight our way out of here with our faction leader. Because I think what we're going to do is, I think next turn, I'm going to attack the army north of Tinium. I think we'll hit those guys first, as I should be able to uh, night battle. I believe my faction leader has night battle. Night battle them, ignore that other army that they have that's just a captain. Kill him. Depending on how many casualties I take, maybe kill the other army too. Because I need to start kind of clearing up Aust uh, uh, Austria, not Austria, Hungary around here a little bit. Austria too, but not, not not yet. I need to start clearing up some of these armies around here, or at least kind of delay them and distract them while my faction heir tries to gain ground in Bosnia. Um, I don't believe Bosnia is allied. They joined in the war because of Ragusa, so they shouldn't be able to support each other on the map if they do. Let's see again. Money's not doing that great because of all these raids. Ah, oh, fuck, Baghdad's fallen. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 Timur's getting close. Timur is getting close. I don't like that. Okay, keep making your way over here. I feel like Albania knows about my fucking plan, because, like, this army doesn't want to move. I have to, like, wait until you guys both move them, because, like, this doesn't have all that much. That's their faction leader. This is, uh, fetched a random family member. Again, keep bringing you guys over here. I'll try and maybe get a small little navy. That'll be the force that will try and, uh, drop you guys off. Yeah, that's Hungary that's doing that. Enter port, death of natural causes, that's a family member, some of those over in Pokemon. Oh no! Well, I guess I'll take uh, one of these generals around here. I'll have you go over there to be the governor for that region. Um, and now I need to actually do a goddamn battle as we haven't done anything for today. So let's kind of do that. We've now got it prepared. Let's start off with this one. This will be a pretty quick one. Um, let's have it so. You actually have quite a bit of cap. Let's just take all of the like infantry in here. Gather them. Let's grab one more guy. You're just going to follow behind us. And I'll have you reinforce us as we kind of keep pushing forward. Um, let's see. I'm going to bring... You bring you right there. You right up here as well. And then we'll just uh, have you assault. My lord. Just a bunch of infantry, not the worst. I think we'll just trust the auto resolve for a second. 69, nice. And then we start making our way up the mountains. So I actually back up just one second. Uh, I want to get a watchtower around here. Just kind of see. So they still have you. You're still alive. I will keep pushing on in here. We can finish you off now. And then we keep pushing. So now we have a lot of forces here ready. There are some mercenaries. At least some cav I can get the, uh, if I need to replenish them. But keep making our way on up towards this castle. Looks like they were pushed back into it. Uh, let's see, is there anybody else? Let's see, I... Looks like I will have to go around this way. These mountains are a pain in the ass. They're not that easy to maneuver through. Okay. Now for my emperor. So, oh, I have another princess around here. Oh, wait, are you like my... Oh, you're actually my daughter. Oh. Oh, if there's anybody I want to have. 
Okay, I can try and offer Sigismund, because he's supposed to become uh, the king of Hungary at some point. Um, I can have you try and marry him. Oh, I kind of want you to be the one to try and marry this guy. I was like, my princess is... I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, my daughter is this one. Okay, that's my firstborn daughter. I think I'll give her the chance first. Because um, let's have you drop off both of you around here and start trying to look for him. I can maybe bring a prince uh, or a spy around here at some point. And you will be mean. I don't care about you. So we need to try and figure out where the hell he is. Where this man is. Because I'm assuming he'll kind of be near the capital. So we'll just kind of make our way there. We'll kind of spread out with you two. Kind of go over there. Then I do have this navy here. Which I think I'll have you go back over here. You'll be the one that will be prepared for this. So like I've got this force here. Pretty good army. And I'll probably be using this uh, offensively around against uh, Hungary to take Zara back, maybe Pola. I think that's basically what you'll be doing once we take out Albania. But I have distracted us long enough. <laughs> Let us fight. Because my faction leader, if I believe... You do have night battle. Perfect. So I can do exactly what I want. So I can get rid of Simon here. And Albania is allied with you. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm ballsy. I've just been sitting here doing nothing. Fuck it, let's fight this. I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't be the case. Ah, oh, shit, I could have just... No, the other, this army that I'm attacking, I think would have had a high enough command that he would have been fine, and he would have been lured in to fight with the uh, captain down south. Because the captain down to the south, or to the west, he wouldn't have been able to lure, lure in the Bosnian army. That means there's like five full stacks around here. Holy shit. I wish you guys would just siege this area. It'd be a lot easier for me to kill you all in a defensive siege. But hey, I can force you, if anything, they outnumber me. And they're probably going to be uh, fairly confident in their abilities. So, what I think I can do, although because I just turned the AI on, <laughs> AI on uh, probably not. Because let's see, so the enemy reinforcements uh, will be coming from back here. Um, I am curious. Back over here. This is far away as possible as I can get from them. Let's try and see if maybe I can convince them to make their way over here. Uh, what I'm going to do is let's set you up like this and like this. Then all of my infantry kind of group on up. I'll have to adjust you guys just slightly. So like right there. Right there. And then you guys I'll adjust in a second once the uh, map has expanded out. Then grab all my cav. I think you guys actually need to stay where you are than all of my archers. All of you right back here. Skirmish mode is already off. Good. I'm probably going to have to convince them to attack me. That's my expectation. The they might men. advance on they us because they outnumber they us, but brain. that might not be the case. Let's kind of group my cav up. I'm going to try and look for some prime targets to try and see if we can convince them to attack us. I'll kind of pull back for now and see. If they're going to chase me back to my army, that's what I want. Because at this point right now, because there's two full stack armies, they both have named generals, I need them to come to me. Because this is going to be a tough fight, I would say. Looks like they are not advancing on us. Okay. So what I'm going to do is harass your back line. They do seem to be pulling back just slightly. Um, let's kind of go off to the side here. Go off over here. And then I can start trying to hit some of these units. There's some horse archers over there. They do have some of their noble cav. It's the other side better. The other side looks better. It's hard to tell because they might just have some guys hidden in the trees, though. They did have some more men hidden, but it does look like they're advancing towards me. So I'm going to watch them from a distance. I'm going to try and wait until they engage me, as I think it'll be a bit better for us to wait for them to come all the way over to us, as opposed to try and snipe units as they're making their way to us. This way, we can kind of just let my archers do their thing. Hopefully, you guys... Oh, I needed to adjust you two still. So. Yeah, you guys need to adjust a little bit over here, I'd say. Because then that means uh, you guys have a little bit of space to try and actually use the Greek fire. So start, as soon as I got too close to my forces, you guys decided to pull back. Okay, I'm going to start charging now. You kind of spread out a little bit. I can now probably hit some of these units, at least these skirmishers for sure, and kill some of them. So let's kind of have you guys kind of run back over here to the side. Let's hit this uh, Matar Foot Archer. Matar? Matar? Matar. Yeah, Me Megya. Megya uh, Foot Archer. They're already shaken. This charge to break them, yes it is, perfect. Let's have you kill all of them, and then we'll try and hit these Cro uh, Croatian crossbow militia units as well. I'm gonna try and start convincing them to start running on into us. Let's have you keep charging into this javelin, possibly. Keep the charge up. 
try and do what damage we can, and then pull back as soon as we're able to convince them to keep making their way over to my infantry. So let's pull back now. Dealt a little bit of damage. Some of the guys are breaking. Let's get out of there. Pull back. And then let's see if they're going to take that bait. Because it looks like they do want to commit to fighting my forces. They do have this general chasing us. This is a general. So let's kind of surround him and kill him. He's only got 23 gamen, and I have my entire uh, force of cav to surround him. He's taken no damage so far, though, and I hate him. Uh, this is a Hungarian swordsman. That unit I do care about. Let's pull back. It is unwise to praise That's the another one of their generals. Sunset, he got out of that, which is like three casualties. Yeah, pull back away from this right now. They are the making their way over to us, so I'll wait. We can kind of bide our time. We don't need to be too aggressive right now. They are committing to a fight here. Here they come. Um, God damn, my, archers, my archers are fire arrows on. Uh, turn that off, please, you idiots. And all of you need to be good. Okay, and now they're committing to a fight with their cap. Yes, let's see. You guys are already breaking. Nice. Okay, so at least the weaker units are. That's good. Uh, you need to turn this off there as well. Don't have any good shots with my Greek fire just yet, but that's okay. They haven't blobbed up yet, so I kind of want to save your ammo until they do that. Because they are making their way on over. They're kind of focusing on my cav a lot. Keep trying to get out of there. Because these skirmishers are doing well so far. Two to six. Not bad, not bad. The enemy reinforcements are getting close. My cav. They don't want to leave me alone. Are these just all cav units right now? Mounted sergeants. I think the general of theirs. Where'd he go? Let's murder him. There's 19 of you. Let's focus you down. Because they don't want to stop chasing us. And we're just going to take unnecessary damage if we're just not properly fighting them. So let's focus our attention on you. Uh, my Emperor is specifically right around here. <laughs> Please don't die. Let's see, he's at 14. I have so many men that it should be impossible for us to not kill him. It's 2, 4. That's doing okay. My infantry line is holding really nicely over there. And their infantry line is still pretty far away from us. So I think they'll be able to hold for a bit. Uh, those are skirmishers. Looks like that cav unit is... No, they're not, they're not broken. But they are pulling away for now. Uh, this general is at 10. we have got another mounted sergeant who does feel like they're losing. Uh, this is, I don't know why they're sending the archers over here. Do you have a death wish? I feel like you do. Yeah, especially this one poor guy who's deciding to just go stab a horse in the ass. The horse... Uh, you guys are going in no way. Okay. Congratulations there. As your general's almost dead, 6 to 13. That's going nicely. Let's see. These are Hungarian peasants. Yeah, mow down the peasants. Do what we're supposed to do as the Imperials. It's only in our nature, in our blood, to slaughter all the peasants. Looks like you gotta keep chasing them down. Run these guys down here. Uh, those are some spear militia who are already wavering. The general's still not dead over here. Where'd he go? Did he run away? Has those mountain sergeants have given up? I don't know where that man meant. No, he, he ran away. Yeah, he's over here now. He's over here. So I'll just keep trying to run down. Oh, no, he came back. The Croatian pet. No, that's not him. Croatian pet Kind of try and kill Only you if I can, or get the them to break. Remains. Otherwise, 7 to 23, not bad. Still haven't taken out the generals here just yet. But, we are oh, blessed. there goes one. The enemy general so is there dead. is one of you. Simon, yeah, there's Simon. Down. And then there was a supporting general along with him that I have to also focus down. I'm um, going to ignore... Actually, this Hungarian swordsman unit should probably break when we charge you. Ah, uh, just about. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's kind of keep mopping up these infantry units around here. Uh, is this just like family swordsmen, as it say? Basically? Yeah, run all of you guys down. Uh, I don't want to overcommit to running you guys down for right now. I'll just capture a couple of you that I can. And then I think I need to pull back and kind of wait for the Bosnians to come back. So right now, the Croatian Spear Militia. Yeah, get those guys, and let's pull back. I do love that my infantry line has barely taken any damage so far. To take out about a third of the overall force, we've lost about 7%. Not bad. I might think most of that's actually my cav, honestly. My infantry's taking, like, practically no damage. Like, this is what it means to have true heavy infantry for the Empire, and I love it. Because crossbows, you guys are doing well, number-wise. Yes, up to 37. The enemy general is specifically... I think there was two in this army as well. Um, there is this guy right here, the Bosnian bodyguard, and there's another Bosnian bodyguard over this way. Um, if you can, because you're a crossbow, you can't hit him from that distance. I'll just have you pick your own targets then, because I want to try and focus those units down specifically. These are all light cav around here. I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna let my skirmishers do all their work, and then we can start trying to charge them and flank them once they're in melee. 
as I think these uh, the Bosnians might have a bit more of a backbone as opposed to the Hungarians, even though they had a pretty decent general there, because the Crossbones are, are dying decently there. Ooh, these are Saxon Halberdiers. Ooh, I like the look of that unit. What's it going to be? This is the Croatian men in arms over here. Bosnian cow. I thought they had some of those, like, really have. Ooh, these are the Royal Guard ones. Ooh. And it's more of the Saxon Alberts. Okay. They should be up upon us any second now in regards to their infantry. Um, crossbows should now be able to hit this Bosnian bodyguard. Focus him down. Oh, one of you is actually deciding to fire. Oh, not you. Oh, you've got to go. What are you doing? Are you just trying to burn the backs of my own men? What the fuck? Guys, what are you doing? Um. Okay. Uh, they are attacking me with some of the Serbian light cab. That's fine. These are pretty weak. Oh, they do have some noble cab over here, though. Try and focus them down. Ignore those Serbian horsemen. Those guys are not as big of an issue. Around here, though, uh, let's see at the moment. You're getting a couple kills around there. Oh, things are struggling a little bit more over here. Let's get you to run over to this side. Number Y is 10 to 46. To sunset, so what I'm going to try and do is let's try and hit these the Bosnian cab units right here. It's going to line up right about there. Try and hit these cav units. They should burn to a crisp. Then you are doing wonderfully against these Croatian men-at-arms. Uh, it's not a Friday if I'm not committing war crimes against Serbians. <laughs> okay, you guys can then burn them on this side here. Once these guys break and kind of loop you around and start hitting them from another direction. Because it's 12 to 50. Oh! Elitist, elitist. This is why I love Greek fire. Oh, you're already out of ammo. Aww. I wanted to actually get some bigger blobs. These guys need more ammo. I love them. There goes one. There goes one of them. Uh, you're still fighting me over here with these noble cav units. They are wavering. So I think you should be okay. Oh, hey, he's charging you. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a fucking bodyguard. Uh, can you three try and shoot this guy? I think that's the one that hasn't died yet. Yeah, let's pull you back over this way. Kind of run away. we have lost two-thirds of their army oh, so far. I just need to get you away from them. I'm going to help you recover some of those guys. Oh, they don't want to give up. They want to fucking give up. I hate this. Okay, let's get my cav. Let's get you up and around this way. I need to specifically deal with this body. Are you shaking? Actually, let's go this way. Let's kind of start running them down. I'm going to trust you guys to deal with them yourselves. Skirmishers, try and shoot him. He's at 17 men. Some of you are still in combat around here. Is anybody not? We got you. Oh, he's breaking. Oh, he's a coward. Okay. That's fine then. At this point, I believe everybody's shattered. Yeah, for the most part. Let me just run them down now. So sadly, I was not able to get that other general for Bosnia. But hey, we're at least fertilizing the grounds of Croatia as we are continuing to conquer. Like, hey, the empire coming in here is really great for the farmland. <laughs> it's why I focus on building farms so much as I have endless amounts of fertilizer with the bodies and corpses of my enemies. Oh god, that's so bad. Uh, okay, so there we go. This area now will be able to kill those two armies, push them out of the way. Then I think, okay, so what I can do... I can just keep pushing. <laughs> just keep killing. My character is known as the Butcher for a damn reason, so I feel like I should just take advantage of that. Uh, let's execute all of you, both of the armies. Push them back. Perfect. Then, let's see, do I recover just amount of my... And I didn't really recover much of my Greek archers. I meant to Greek archer, my Greek fire. That's kind of a shame. Okay, but I can now start recruiting more around here to actually support this region. So I'm going to have you guys start that up. I think what we're going to do is... I should hit this army. It's just a captain, so I expect that to be pretty easy to break. Then I can bring you guys back over here. Try and have you watch over Tinium. And then I feel like... I'm going to ignore Zara. It's a cool city. Because again, I think what we're going to do... like Once we take Albania, this fleet that has these bombards... I can just have... Continue striking at coastal settlements. Like just go boom, boom... Um, let's see, there's also, like, multiple up here. I can hit so many regions up here with a naval army like that. So I think it's probably going to be the best thing we can do with all of you. Uh, Ragusa, again, I need constant recruitment around here. So keep kind of recruiting as many men we can get around here. 
I can't retrain any of these guys more than I already am. That's fine, though. Keep pushing over there. But yeah, let's at least get rid of this force right around here. Probably going to run. No! Captain Sikor. Sikor. Uh, it's not going to run. They have a lot of cav here. A lot of cav. Um, it looks like these are all light cav for the most part. I see a couple... Yeah, I see two units of heavy cav. And that's about it. So let's push you back at least, kind of liberate the area, make it so we have a bit more movement around here. And I kind of think I will go north. Zara, I will ignore and wait for the forces from Albania to take it. Because if I can just have a decently sized army push on in, take coastal cities, just blitz them, I think they'll be far better than us trying to continuously focus down and kill massive stacks of just fire. Because while I love any excuse to drive up the kill-death ratio in this campaign, which we're getting close to two, we're at like, what, 1.67? Oh, look at my Emperor, he looks so badass. Um, it doesn't get us nearly as uh, far in our wars as quickly as I would like. Um, so this is why I really like the idea of, like, assaulting Albania and just, like, blitzing their lands. Stuff like that is, that's what's going to really get us uh, really far in our wars initially. So let's kind of pull back a little bit here. And you guys need to be back further. I need to... It does make it so you're less effective, as I have to be more particular in how I place you. I have to wait until they get into position to then start firing. It does make you guys, it's a little bit safer for you. So let's kind of pull you all back here. Hold it, the, this spot right here. Grab all my cab as well. Maybe just kind of chill back here. Does seem like they might advance on us. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Okay. Then the general for this army is in the back. So you seem to be this one. Should be this one. This mounted sergeant is the one that we have to worry about and find a focus down. Skirmisher-wise, they're taking quite a bit of damage. 7% already dead. I'd like to see that. Let's make sure my infantry are already on guard position. Perfect. They're not trying to flank us just yet. Uh, let's crossbow. Try and hit the only heavy cav I see. There's like only two heavy cav units. So I'll have you specifically focus them down. So it was that guy and the general himself. I believe it's the only... No, he's, he's also light hand. So tap all of you. Focus on that mountain sergeant, because that should be the general. As soon as he's dead, this army will be a bit easier to kill. They are already just a bunch of... They're led by a captain. They're already wavering before they even get to my infantry line. They break before they even get to my infantry line. That's the proper response when you're facing the butcher. The butcher uh, faction leader of the Empire. Because that's what happens when you face the butcher of Rome. Not of Rome. I didn't murder. Well, actually, I could get the Butcher of Rome title at some point, maybe. Basically, because we actually don't control Rome just yet. Let's get my cab to run around over this way. Start trying to. Yeah, a lot of you guys are just starting to run. Captain's already dead. Yep, he's dead. So he's dead now at this point. And most of you are breaking at this point. Let's give my infantry some AI commands. Start having you guys kind of rush them down. And then my cab as well. Start kind of going to the back and start chasing them all, because they've lost a third of their army, but with their general already dead, I don't expect them to hold very much. I think that their horse are just trying to kind of do something. Um, I'm going to have some of you, let's say like you two, uh, not in groups, try and support our uh, men back here. Because they do have their cab, they're going to try and rush on in and hit my skirmishers. So let's try and have it so that you two, try and have out around here specifically. Everybody else can chase, I'd say, for the most part. These units right here, they are wavering. I expect them to break pretty easily, especially with my foot guards right around here. How are they doing here? They're wavering. Should be able to beat them back. Okay, so there we go. We have now cleared the area around Tidium. Thankfully, took long enough, but now we actually have some sort of path to be able to move out of here. Um, I am going to try and merge my forces together. It's very difficult for me to try and retrain these specific units up front around here. I will have to just try and have specific reinforcements from Rome, or from Constantinople occasionally, to replenish my elite units. Uh, but for the, right now, I think for the most part, we'll be just focusing on just getting whatever troops we can and push in as quickly as we can. Not going to worry too much about replenishing the really badass units, sadly. But let's execute all of them. And then, let's see. So if I take all of you, let's merge. I can have, like, one guy left. Let's see. So I think what I'll do is let's leave you and you here. Leave you here, and I think I'm going to... I don't want you. Uh, let's keep making our way. I'm going to go up here. I want to try and push to you. So let's kind of go slowly. I don't want to get stuck anywhere. And then I can build some watchtowers as we're trying to make our way through. Well, I can at least build one. Doesn't look like there's anything around here. Okay, so I'm going to go right next to this mountain. 
Kind of right here. We march. And, oh, if I had enough movement, I could hit you and lure them out of the city. Yeah, because I can try and hit that next turn. Try and take that, and then we'll kind of hold up around that area for us. Trade increases. You're feeling appreciated. Good. I know you were kind of sitting there for a little longer than you would like. Uh, Tinium, though, I don't have enough to build anything. We do have some units that are recruiting there, so they should have a decent garrison. And at least with one Greek fire unit, I should be able to hold rather nicely around here. Don't have stakes on them, but hey, they are a pretty decent unit. And then I believe that is it for this turn. You'll be able to start pushing your way on forward next turn and try and hit push into Bosnia. This is where our true counterattack begins. Finally. Took us long enough to get reinforcements and then I'm just butchering army after army to make it so we can actually carve a path through them. So things are not looking the greatest around Bosnia. I will accept this general. Let's take you. And then I need to keep moving. I think I need even more of you guys over towards that region in general, honestly. Like, that seems to be the main contention point we have for our wars right now. And so I can use some more governors around there. So let's try and take all of you. I'll have you make your way over towards the city. And then... Oh, you just walked out of it! Oh my god, I don't even need the fucking bombard! Okay, I can do this now. Um, hello, Albania. <laughs> Oh, this is too fucking perfect. So, right here. Yes, my lord. Now, do I have enough movement for all this? All yes, this. I do. Okay, one of you. Go attack. Hello! Yes, <laughs> the enemy Let's just conquer Albania in one fucking turn. There you go. Hello! Repo, uh, Reposh, uh, Muzaka. Uh, I'm gonna point this myself. At least give you the dignity of dying by your own uh, blade. Because, man, this is a dick move. Oh, your armies are nowhere to be seen near your city, so let me murder Albania in one turn. <laughs> Beautiful. So then I'll at least have two more cities around here, get a bit of money from this as well. And now it'll be a bit easier for us to re re reinforce our lands around here as well. I don't have to specifically re re recruit just from southern Greece. I can be a little bit more north uh, around here and then have it so that what we'll do now with this army. I think this army... Maybe not even specifically try and hold the lands we take. But try and just blitz a bunch of coastal settlements. And use that as a way to weaken the enemy's resolve. Basically attack them. Maybe try and leave like one unit and just distract them. Are you guys taking really that long to break a gate? Really? The bombards? What if you try shooting a wall? Because I feel like the gates should have shattered already. I don't know why you guys are taking so long for that. Does it really just take that much damage? Or am I doing no damage? Uh, let me check something. I know some mods, they make it so you have to use a specific ammo type to break anything. Oh no, it's taking damage. Oh, it is. Okay. Pull back there. Put my infantry and skirmishers up together. Because the gates are about to come crashing down, and then we can just rush on in, surround the city center, and just freely shoot this guy to death. Those are now broken. I'm going to start having uh, some of my infantry, primarily the spearmen, I'll say. Uh, let's have you kind of rush up first, because there are the bodyguard units. Let's have you kind of run on in this way. My cannons, try and break down another section for us, so we can kind of flank them a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Now that you're all focusing on the same spot, it's a lot faster. Uh, let's try and also take out the towers. Let's have all of you kind of run over this way. And then, yeah, my spearmen, you're going for the general's bodyguard. You try and go that way. I'll have my skirmishers try and group up with my infantry over on this side. Just need to take out the towers now. You guys can focus on that just to make minimize the amount of damage they do to us. <laughs> this one Albania bodyguard's got to just be like so shocked at what happened. Maybe they're not. Maybe they are. But the, the idea is like literally, ah, it's such a glorious day. Our armies, they're going off on the offensive to attack. I think they're over Serbia. Um, they're going to bring glory to our kingdom. And then there's reports, my lord, my lord, we're being attacked from the coast. Who would dare attack us? It's the Roman Empire. Wait, what? Sound of thunderous crash as cannons just break down the fucking gates. I love it. Let's see, number wise here, 11% of the forces are dying so far. Uh, some of you guys are going through the wrong area, but that's fine, I guess. I'll have it so all of you just kind of run up here. If we can, we'll just try and surround you and kill you off before you can get back to the city center. So try and run it up this way. All my crossbows and such try and go this way as well. Uh, and I'm not used to the cannons taking this long to break things. Like, there goes one. 
Like, they really nerf the damage that the cannons do, but I can kind of see it. They can do quite a bit of damage sometimes. So the enemy generals now ran. We captured him. I'm sorry, Bosh. I'm sorry, man. If I had a peaceful option to annex out Albania, I think I would have taken that. But this will do just as fine. Um, because now I will completely destroy this faction in one turn. Never have to worry about the armies they had, which is great. And then I can now try and do this with other uh, settlements too. Because I think this is what I should have this army do. is Like, I'll ignore Zara. If they take the lands from me... Like, Tinium is the only area I actually care about holding um, over there. Any of the castles are the only region I really care about holding right now. If I lose a city, that's eh, fine. We will re reconquer it later. But around here, at least now, I can have it so, like... And then now Bane is dead. <laughs> I love it. Because both these areas are sieged. Uh, this one's so dead. I don't think you're going to survive that. Tinium might be okay. Depends if it's multiple layers or not. I can't remember if it is or not. Um, up here, though, I can actually try and get rid of you and push on into the city. They might withdraw, possibly. Um, most advanced faction, though. One of my priests died. One woman died. Feels unappreciated. Why do you feel unappreciated, good sir? I'm sending you to go watch over a new city. Um, just loyal as well with a different guy. Okay, we'll receive discount. A monk. Megas Locothalities. Oh god, I probably butchered that. Megas Locothalities. That is Mogos. Uh, god damn it. Locothalities? That is? Something like this lines, maybe? I'm so sorry. Uh, Megas Domesticos. Okay, not bad. Um, it's a construction report. Oh, we finally got those salt mines around here. Nice. Um, other than that, though, I still need to keep focusing on troops around here. That's the main thing we need. I think, like. Archery range. I already have the crossbow militia around here, right? Yeah, that's not going to give me any of you units, and I don't believe this one does as well. I think we should just get the better roads, just to get a bit more movement around here. I'd say the easier it is to reinforce regions, the better. Um, same deal with you guys in Ragusa, honestly, because we have about the most units I'll be able to actually get around here. So let's grab that for you. Um, got the recruits around there. Oh, Swiss and du the Austrians are at war. Nice. That's useful for me. That is very useful for me. Yes, <laughs> war with the Albanians. And then just a couple things later, the Albanians are dead. <laughs> don't mess with me, Albania. Okay, because what we'll do here is uh, let me try and repair. Oh, I don't need to actually repair those. Um, let's see. How is it for over here? Oh, it's actually Greek. Oh, I didn't have to exterminate them all. Oh, that probably would have been fine then. Yeah, I grabbed that. I don't have enough money to repair it, sadly, but what I can now do is yeah. I can start gathering these forces up. Let's bring you up this way. Because I want to try and have it so that what we'll do is next turn, I think I'm going to try and get you guys, primarily almost all of you, back onto the ship. And then I'm going to start making my way over. I think what we'll do is Zara we can't hit, but I could hit Pola. I could hit Pola and maybe hold Pola. But I think that's what I'm going to have this fleet do, is just keep going about and sniping spots. Um, let's see, my princesses, still trying to find this man of the way. dreams. Very well. Let's kind of keep exploring. On my way. Happy my lord. Oh, there's King Charles the fucking third. Are you married? Am I <laughs> you after a suitor Damn it. Or a okay, so he's not there. Um, yes. I kind of want to go further down south, but I don't think they're there. Although, I probably should at least check around here. So, let's kind of go around this way with you. I shall stop here for the night. Oh. Was this the one I was thinking of? I have to double check if that's the same guy. D'Angelo? I think that was, right? I can't see his traits. And the spelling's a little different. But I think this is the guy. Because I believe that was the last thing that was described for them. I can't see his traits right now. But I think you're the man I want to try. But there's no unmarried generals within range. Even though I can see you. Oh, I'm hoping that you're not married off already. That'd be kind of a shame if you were. Because then I won't be able yes. to do what I want to do. Oh, that's kind of a shame. Okay, let's get uh, my spy back on up around this way. Because now we want to try and have you continue exploring around up here again. Um, I can now have Manuel. Let's have you keep pushing on up north. Let's see. So let's see. 
They don't have anybody outside the settlement that I can use to lure out of it, sadly. So we will just have to start a normal siege around here. So let's go there. And then I'll have these reinforcements kind of coming around from the other side. Next turn, at least, I'll then be able to take this city. That's actually their faction air. Ooh, that's nice. A lot of infantry. A lot of good infantry around there. I do need to now try and let's see. So up here, since I can't actually solve that settlement, can you... You want to fight. It's a crap army. There's like one archer. One, oh, I'm sorry, one horse archer. Bunch of... Yeah, those guys aren't that bad. Let me kill them all. I'm going to try and not get the Magic 85 and see if I can get them to set on up right outside of the city. It's possible. Um, then we might be able to just lure them out of the castle immediately. That's what I'm hoping, at least. Because if I can take this castle this turn, then me abandoning uh, Tinium and that other city, I think are going to be worth it. As I need to kind of get up north. And I need to get to the furthest north I can against Hungary. Because I need to have them focus all their attention on one location. And one location I can focus a lot of troops in. Because if I can do that, I can very easily hold Hungary. That's why I really want Bosnia. Because Bosnia, there's so many castles. It's kind of actually a more dispersed fight. Uh, dispersed defense. Let's have all of you make your way up as well. Then you all need to make sure you have skirmish mode off, which you do. Good. Yeah. Kind of bends forward. I'm going to just try and get up a little bit higher up on the scale because I just don't like the positioning we have right now. Um, they are kind of advancing on us. Let's get everybody to kind of rush on in position then. Infantry guard position. And then my cav. The captain is in the back of line right now. Let's have my cav kind of run around the side. It looks like it was one of the infantry units was one of the captains. Yeah, this man at arms is the captain. Okay, so yeah, my infantry just needs to get in position, and then they can face them off. This one horse is the only cav unit they have at all, so I'm not too worried as soon as I can kill off their general. So let's just have my cav kind of loop around here, try and make your way over. We're going to try and kill that man at arms with a good charge. Let's see. I think I'm going to bring you over this way, try and break this section, because I already have my cab on this side, so I'm not as worried about over here. Let's see, you can all kind of go up and around. Ignore this swordsman for now, not until the captain's dead. Let's keep going up there, guys. Kind of make your way up here. Number wise, how are we doing so far? One to zip, so they're doing it better than I would like them to. But I have a Greek fight, is in our which is an unfair advantage. We so, true and let's have you kind of make your way over there. Will be ours. So charge in. Cav, let's see. You two, at least. Captain's right here. He's this Croatian man at arms. He's the one we want to kill. Let's have my other cav just kind of pull back a little bit. Ignore these swordsmen. Oh, these guys are shaking, actually. I think I can have you just charge them and kill them. This unit's eager, but it is a... I would say heavy infantry, technically. What's stats on that? Stats on that. Uh, 16 armor. Or 16 total defense. Not bad. 7 defense. I'm kind of expecting you to break on the charge, though. Let's see. Shaken... Lost eh, only like five guys in the charge. That's the most amazing. That one infantry unit though absolutely got wrecked. Uh, horse archers, I'll ignore you right now, honestly, because we want to let some get away. I want to get, I want to get as close to the magic eighty-five as I can. So let's ignore like these two units here, and just try and run everybody else down. Because I want to get like eighty-one, so get most of them. The so that way no I can hopefully have them run away, not into the city, the but outside. Our men have captured the enemy general. Right now we're at thirty-five. Well. Again, I don't Give care about those horse, ar those archers, and the horse archers. Sure I care about all of this infantry, of all army. of these heavy infantry units, the ones I really care about. So I keep running down all of them, true, and, and they're just gonna running. So let me just try and run them down until I get to about eighty-one percent. Okay, I got 77. So the army won't die. 75, to um, they won't die. Now the question is, are they going to run all the way back into the city? Or are they going to be just outside of it? If they're just outside of it, I can lure them out, take the castle, and then this is going to be the new defense point for my faction leader. I'll have to have it so basically I can try and get a couple units to watch over the city, get him some reinforcements, and then have him go for other targets. But this castle, I need desperately, and I need it to be an area that Hungry wants to focus on. So I see all of them, and they ran into the city. Damn it. Okay. That's okay. Um, I can still do this. I'm going to, let's go over here. I want to have it so that if I'm attacked, I'm on a, ah, oh, damn, I can't do that. Okay. Just gather some uh, siege equipment there, start uh, sieging that, and we'll have it do assault the next turn. And then all of these armies can't get to me. Oh, you might be able to. But I should be able to take that, and hopefully they don't have any armies from the north. Hopefully not. 
Uh, also, I need to make sure I actually go back around here again. I need to keep exploring more regions. Keep exploring all around up here. And go to the east a little bit more. Then we also have you as well. Keep me here right there. Um, I should almost maybe grab that other spy I was thinking about right over here and maybe bring you to drop off over here. Because I think this is the mar the general, but I don't think I can marry him, which kind of sucks. I won't know until next Hello, turn, maybe. Maybe then you'll actually have a chance to once you're right next to the city. People. But it doesn't look like it at the moment, at least. Yes. Uh, let's see. Let's keep gathering all of these hey, forces hey. together. And then I think that's it for this turn. <sighs> We're almost to turn 100. Timurid is almost here. The Timurids are almost here. And I'm going to hope... Oh, you're attacking us at... Uh, blah, blah. Um... Hmm. This army here would not be that bad. With this army here, though, it would be, but I think... I am kind of on a mountainside. I think let's try this. I'm gonna. This is gonna be the last thing we're gonna do for today. I think we can win this. If I go up like about here, which should be some sort of mountainside, this army itself is not that bad, and it should be easy to kill. The other army, as long as I take out the general, should be pretty easy to kill as well, because they're gonna be running in on off the map trying to get over to us. This is ballsy, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna try it. Because I think we can do this. Because right now... So, I want to be back here. Which... Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. So, let's grab all of my skirmishers. Grab all of you. Line on up here. Basically, what we need to make sure we do is my cav. As long as I have all my cav, which I have a little bit of cav, um, take out their captain for this main army. He'll be easy to deal with. They're just led by a captain. Then the other army, I will have to kill their general. So what I'm going to try and do is... Um, enemy reinforcements should be coming from over here. I'm going to take my horse archers. I'm going to try and have you over here initially. I'm going to try and have you two over here initially. And maybe when they're trying to walk the on them in on the map, you can just sit behind and kill the factionaire. If you can do that, that's perfect. Because then they have to make their way all the way over to us. They'll be tired, and they should want to break. This army, I think, will be fine. I think you guys will be tired enough by the time you get over to me that I think you'll just break on contact. Okay, so they're not even advancing in just yet with their reinforcements, or they've just only recently started. He is kind of up in front. I would ideally like to be able to try and just shoot you. Because at the moment, this is all just a bunch of infantry. I think they only have, like, a couple skirmishers here. Yeah, a couple. But I'm going to try and move you on up here. Try and shoot them. Because, again, if I can kill you, I can then just run away from this army and not care about them. Because if they make their way over here, they'll then be so broken and just ready to flee that I won't have to worry about them. This force up here is starting to engage us. My skirmishers are starting to release fire onto them. I've killed 1% of their forces so far. Let's get my horse just a little bit closer, and I'm hoping you guys will be able to freely stay away from this guy and just shoot him. Because if you can kill this general, kill this faction heir of theirs, then this army's not that much of a threat whatsoever. Because they're so far away. Come on up here. Because you should be able to shoot them from there. Right about there. Yeah, right there. Open up on them. Don't get too close. Stop walking closer. Because I need you to go over here. They are returning fire with their crossbows, it seems. They don't have a ton. They had... Oh, no, actually they have about a, a full, full unit. I thought they had less than that. Never mind. Run away. Let's run away until they're actually advancing on us with you. You guys do have fucking artillery. I do not like that. They have a cannon. I think what I'm going to do. These guys over here aren't doing anything. I'm going to bring my horse archers back here. Try and have you get rid of this cannon of theirs. As right now, we're just trading blows. And I've killed 7% of their forces. And they've killed like nothing of mine. So as long as they just let me sit up here, I'll do it. As the captain for this army. Looks to be over here. Kind of hard to tell, but I think he's over here somewhere. I think he's this cab unit. This cab unit right here. Is he? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's this Bosnian cab unit. So I'll have it so that I will try. Horse archers, I would like for you to take out the name general over down here. 
but I don't think you're going to be able to easily do that. I think I'm going to actually have you just focus primarily right now on the cannon. Get rid of the cannon. Maybe have you focus some ammo onto this Bosnian cap. Unless some of my guys... Like, my crossbows hit them? You guys can. Yep, you can. Let's have all of you then focus him down. Once that cav unit is dead, the rest of this army I think is going to just break. Because they seem eager. At the moment. Oh, no, you don't. These Bosnian spearmen are like, uh, what are we doing? Why are we advancing up this hill towards the co-emperor of the Roman Empire? Have you not heard the tales of what he's done to our people? He slaughtered us by the thousands. He gets off on it. Well, it seems like you're the only one left now. The captain of the Bosnian army. How long are you going to last? Horse archers are being chased right now. I'm having you just try and run away. I am letting you focus down these units as I think it's a valuable use of your ammo. Why not? So just keep kind of running away from those guys for right now. And then as soon as their captain's dead, I'm going to start advancing forward with my own cab. Because I think at that point we'd be a bit more aggressive and start counterattacking. Because most of these guys will shatter as soon as those guys have died. Which he is... He's back here. He's just the one man. I just need to get a lucky shot and he'll die. Which, I'm using my best crossbows. I'm surprised I haven't killed him just yet. Does he have that many hit points? Because I don't like that what that cannon's doing. I need to get rid of it as soon as I can. Um, you keep running away. Keep running away. Keep trying to focus on that unit if you can. Kind of pull back. Because don't try and fight these guys in melee. You will die. You will most certainly die. The enemy general is dead. Oops, there goes that captain. Uh, is there any reinforcements? They are not moving yet. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. That makes it a lot easier if you're not moving forward yet. Okay. My cav! I believe it is time for us to start counterattacking. I think for the most part, all these guys are going to start shattering. I think my infantry even. I'm going to start giving you guys AI commands. I'll start having you rush forward into the enemy forces. Is that you too? Because you're out of ammo. Rush forward. I'll start trying to run down this force. As the other army, if they don't attack me, I get the city either way. So I will ignore them. And just try and hold over in this position for now. So you guys are advancing on us. Good. They will actually have enough time to get over here before the battle's over. Um, I don't think it will be that difficult to take them out. Because they've lost two-thirds of the enemy force overall. Uh, I just need to try... I have a little bit of ammo. I might be able to snipe the Bosnian general with my horse archers. Possibly. I'll at least try to. Um, you can try and make your way over here. Try and shoot them. Otherwise, I do have a decent amount of ammo still on my crossbows. And I think I can maybe take them out in that way. Infantry is still doing fine for the most part. I didn't lose that many of my forces so far. So I just need to start trying to... Let's see, it looks like right about here is when I can start focusing them down. General's making his way forward, because you're the prime target. I think all my skirmishers can now start focusing him down. He's got 36 units. He'll take a little bit longer to kill, as opposed to the captain they have, as this is a pretty beefy bodyguard. But as soon as he's dead, the rest of this army's going to crumble. Because, come on. Let's see, he's at 34. Okay, he's starting to lose a couple more. Try my infantry, charge one of my sailor units, who is not going to do all that great against you, honestly. In our favor. But if force archers, you are just about over here. Victory will Keep be trying to focus ours. fire him down if you can. Um, you're kind of actually shooting that rogue guard here right now. Uh, try and stop wasting your ammo on him. Kind of loop back around over this way. Because you need to focus their general down first. Because as soon as he's dead, the rest of this infantry is going to break pretty easily. Because you're at 33. I don't like that. He's only lost a couple guys. He feels like he's winning right now, too. They don't have a ton of infantry, though. So what I can pry and do is, like, these three, I'd say. Charge in on this guy. They'll break. Then I can try and surround them a little bit more, because they don't have enough to try and attack us from all angles and pressure all my infantry. So try and break that unit. Also, my cab help out as well. Break that unit down. Force archers, keep making your way over here as well. So my archers are now out of ammo. I wish I had a Greek fire unit. You guys are really pushing through there. It's only... You guys might now be able to just, like, straight up shoot him point-blank range, though. Might be able to get a better chance of hitting him. Please? He's right there! Please shoot him! Because my infantry is about to start trying to help out over here. Because, like, have you guys kind of start flanking around a little bit more. Try and get on in there. Number-wise, let's see, 26 to 64. They killed quite a few of my units. I don't like that. My melee cab, though. Let's try and get you, um... I need to get rid of this here. I need to get rid of this Bosnian Rail Guard unit. Or I just need to ignore it and move it into a better position. So let's have my melee cap kind of just running away. Oh, I do have my horse archers, actually. Let's have you use your ammo on them. Melee cap, let's try and just loop around them. Try and ignore them. I think if I get my melee cap and my horse archers to surround him fully, he should break. 
just kind of run away a little bit there. Go right there, let them kind of shoot him for a little bit. He's not taking any damage from my horse archers, so maybe I'll just ignore him. Because the moment he's a bit more of a pain in the ass, let's see. General's bodyguard, he's at 21. Let's have my melee cab try and focus him down. Uh, you know, routes. So he's at 19, so he's also a little bit more. He needs to be careful of you guys attacking me. For the most part, I have to kill this general's bodyguard. Battle timer's almost up, but I have to kill this general's bodyguard to actually win this. Because right now, things are a little bit too close. He's at... Nine, so he's almost dead. Seven. Come on, six. Is in our favor. Just a couple more, and he'll be dead. Horse Victory archers, you're just about out of ours. ammo. Uh, as soon as these guys get into melee, I need you to start charging them. Try and break that unit. Over here, at least. Uh, good. Oh, Joe's dead. Have slain the enemy yeah, he's dead. Now okay, so now I can probably just start charging all of you to run them down. I got to see over here. Those, yeah, everybody's breaking now. Perfect. There we go. The Lord above, <laughs> a little dangerous to try that, but hey, it did work out in our favor. So now we're going to have that castle of our most as our first proper victory. push into Bosnia. And now that every, because I, I love that Bosnia is literally all castles besides one city. This is going to be a wonderful area to try and defend the northern uh, sections of the empire until we can secure and get more land around here. Like, I'm going to love defending this area. As I know, basically what's going to happen in the next couple of videos, the Timurids are coming. The Timurids are so close. Like, we are a turn uh, at the end of this. Um, let's see, your force is ambushed. Oh, I, I have to take advantage of this, but I'm going to do this in the next video. I'm going to start off the video with this, because this is perfect. It's in the mountains, and I am in ambush stance right now. Yeah, that's perfect. Like, we're still going to get uh, Boba Vac, but that'll be next turn properly. But I'm going to end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any other thoughts you have on it in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.